Hi YouTube, how are you? It's Annika Van Buren, formerly of Tampa, now of beautiful Ocala, Florida. Not that Tampa wasn't beautiful, it was. Every place you live has its own special qualities, don't you think? You can always find something to be grateful for and appreciate no matter where you live. So I'm gonna stop complaining about the really cold winter that we had. It's warmer again here and it's very humid today. We had just some boomer thunderstorms last night, banging and crashing all over in the monsoon downpour. <laughs> but at least it was at night, not during the day. So we always need the rain. So I'm making you a cocktail today. Yeah, and I'm not running around in lingerie. It's gonna be interesting to see how many of you watch this since I have more clothes on. We're making an Americano, and it's supposedly a big hit this year. Yep, it's a new bottle of Campari, a new bottle of Sweet Vermouth. And so we're going to start out with a cocktail glass full of ice. And then I'm going to use an ounce and a half of Campari. And then your Campari, which has gotten very expensive because everybody wants to use it now. Isn't that the name of the game? Any reason to raise the price? And an ounce and a half of sweet vermouth. I've tried all kinds. Julen, you know, which is expensive and, and even more expensive ones. And I'm sorry, I like good old Martini and Rossi as well as anything. Maybe I don't have any taste, I don't know. And then you fill it up with club soda or something sparkling. I have a mandarin orange that I happen to have in the fridge. Killed that. So that's going to go right there. Voila. Give it a stir. And a nice big slice of orange. So I think I'm going to do it this way. This is fresh. Orange, good old Florida orange. Yes, we still grow them. We don't buy them all from Brazil. I've never understood that one except it's cheaper for the manufacturer. Forget the rest of us or the farmers. I'm going to squeeze a little of that orange juice right in there and pop it in the drink. Americano. I think it's an acquired taste. But Campari is anyway. I like it. I'm gonna set this aside, put it in the stainless steel cocktail shaker and pop it in the fridge and have it later. I'm not a day drinker. I wanna take a nap after. So what am I wearing today? It's just something very simple kind of a Barbie pink, but it's just a simple sheath dress. And I have on pantyhose that are tan, and I have on stilettos that are the Valentino knockoff. They have, they're white and they have the nude trim, and then they have the spikes all the way around. Would I like to have a pair of real Valentinos? Of course I would. <laughs> Am I gonna spend that kind of money? thousand dollars nope all right let me walk away and you can see what this looks like nothing special from the back so we have somebody making a comment about my wobbly self i'm doing better i have always had a balance problem when i was younger i had an inner ear disease 
and it affected me for about 15 years. Uh, part of what happened with it is that I lost some hearing in this ear um, in my 30s. And vertigo, nausea, dizziness. So um, it took a while before it was diagnosed because my doctor said, you can't have this at your, your age, you're too young. It turned out I did, it was many years. And um, for some, and don't know what causes it. So for some strange reason in my 40s, it sort of burned itself out. I stopped having those symptoms, although I'm very prone to balance problems. And so when you see me walk sometimes, there's a wobble. So that's some of it. But I have been ramping up my yoga practice. Um, I have been doing classes here where I live. Um, and believe it or not, they're called chair yoga classes. And I thought for sure that when I went into this, because I've been practicing yoga since 2006, that it would just be a piece of cake. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. It is really challenging and much, much tougher than I thought. But we do have a session within that class each week where we work on balance. And I think it's helping me. So what I'm trying to do is do more classes and get more work on balance. And then what I want to do is I want to go into a regular yoga class here. Um, having improved my balance because I've been doing yoga at home with a DVD and I've babied myself. There's no two ways about it. So it's my goal to get stronger, first off, more flexible and improve my balance. So that's three things that I want to do. I've gained weight since I moved here. You can see it. Um, about 10 pounds. So I'm going to be working on taking it off. So you can you can see the progress as the weeks go by. I definitely have more of a tummy now. And this is where I always gain it, right here. Right around the middle, I call it the ring. And then I gain some of it here. Thankfully, I don't lose it all here. So that's the story for today. You can kind of watch my progress here. Um, I'm in at least two, sometimes three, yoga classes a week and then I practice my own yoga at home. I'm also walking and I'm also back to regular two to three days a week of weight training. So I'm starting to get more definition in here. I don't ever get big. I don't have that kind of uh, body. And you'll be able to see it down the road back here. I'll get narrower and I'll get a little bit wider. So that can be your weekly progress report, how I'm doing. Yeah, I'm kind of back on keto. Um, Got to limit the alcohol for sure. So that's all for now. I'll see you again next Wednesday. Thank you for being here. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this channel. And if you have anything you'd like to say, put it down in the comments below. I do read them. So where you can find me, what else I'm up to, read through the description below and you'll see what else Annika uh, and Vera of Ocala is about. Thank you for being here. And remember, it doesn't cost a thing to be kind. Namaste, my friends.